chuché. Ah, seigneur Les Super Weekends à Super Écran, c'est votre garantie d'au moins un nouveau film les vendredis, samedi et dimanche soir. Consultez votre magazine primeur et profitez d'un Super Weekend de grande première. Avec plus de 100 nouveautés au programme durant la période estivale, Super Écran, c'est vraiment la télé de l'été. An alcohol addiction for which she sought treatment at the Betty Ford Center. What I need is a big slap in the face, and the education that you get into one of these places is like the equivalent of two years of schooling. Friends say the 41 year old actress made a valiant effort overcoming her problem, but that she was depressed lately trying to revive her career. See Newhart's latest technological advancement. There is an irony. It was 35 years ago today her grandfather, the famed novelist Ernest Hemingway, killed himself. Mark Mullen, ABC News. It was hailed as a breakthrough when it first came out, but early consumer reports indicate that Olestra, a calorie-free fat substitute, may not make you fat, but it will probably make you sick. John McKenzie reports. The new Frito-Lay fat-free chips sold under the name Max have only been on the market for three months, and only in three small cities, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and Grand Junction, Colorado. The Center for Science and the Public Interest says it has documented 192 complaints of diarrhea and cramps, some cases so severe that people miss days of work. We're asking Frito-Lay to, to pull their Max chips off the market, actually go to the grocery store shelves and take them off the shelves because these chips pose too great a risk. The Food and Drug Administration was aware of possible side effects when it approved Alestra in January and ordered any product made with a fat substitute to carry a warning that it may cause abdominal cramping and loose stools. But the consumer group says that's not enough and called on the FDA to withdraw its approval of Alestra. The FDA must protect the public from an additive that has already caused severe symptoms and might even cause death. A spokesperson for Frito-Lay said those claims are irresponsible, that while 200,000 bags of the chips have been sold, only 67 people called the company to report gastrointestinal problems. We've neither seen the frequency nor the severity of complaints that others claim. Frito-Lay plans to continue test marketing the chips until the fall, and then decide whether to introduce the snack foods elsewhere in the country. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. There's been an upswing in housing sales activity in Quebec. That's according to a survey by Century 21 done this spring. The survey says sales in the Montreal area are up 35% over the same period last year. The homes selling the fastest are priced $110,000 or less, and they're going to an increasing number of first-time homeowners. And the reason for the mini-boom? Century 21 says growing consumer confidence, lower interest rates, and pent-up demand. And now for a look at the morning's market. Canada no longer has unemployment insurance. As of Monday, it is now officially known as employment insurance, and it's going to be more difficult to get. People will have to work longer to qualify for the benefits and will get reduced benefits for a shorter period.